Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another Greenlight unboxing episode. And today we've got a latest uh, Barrett Jackson Scottsdale edition uh, series from Greenlight. This is series six, six piece, six piece case as usual. It's a sealed case and as usual it's provided to, to me to unbox for you by Diecaster. So check him out on Instagram and YouTube. It is sealed. Um, if you've ordered from this hobby dealer before, you're very familiar with this label. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and cut it open. We're going to maybe, maybe, just maybe, uh, score a green machine. Maybe not. We'll see what happens. And we're going to get to take a look at this series. And as usual, I kind of don't really know what's in it. I don't know what's in the series. So, you know, I know there's some cars and... Uh, possibly some trucks uh, but I do like the I generally like the auction series they're pretty cool because they're usually just regular cars and kind of stock liveries and uh, they have how much the car went for on the back of the card art all that stuff so it's it's a fun uh, series so it's one of my faves from Greenlight all right let's go ahead and uh, just pick them out as we go here and see what we get all right, so the first thing is a 1972 Chevrolet K10 4x4 pickup truck. And it's beautiful blue color. It actually looks really good. So the only gripe I have with this particular casting is the lift kit on this, uh, what was the C10 to the K10. Um, the front wheel just doesn't look like it's lined up correct. And I've seen that on almost all of them. So it just looks a little weird in comparison to the card art, which is the actual truck that would have sold right there which looks a little bit different so pretty cool um there but uh there's a picture of the, more picture of the actual vehicle it looks like and it's sold for a hundred and ten thousand dollars for an old scottsdale pickup there's a little bit if you want to it's a rotisserie restored four by four short bed pickup pretty cool that's what I like about this series. It's an actual car that actually sold, and it's a replica of it, which is pretty awesome. So definitely a lot to like about this series, especially if you like just regular cars that are in standard kind of liveries. You know. All right. Ooh, look at this guy. Do we have an Ultra Red? Do we have a Spectre Flame Red? This is a Super Treasure Hunt Greenly? I don't know. No, it uh, just, it's a beautifully done, I guess, metallic red color. Almost, it looks very, very ultra red-ish under this light, anyhow. And it's the 2017 Ford GT. Here's the real deal car on the card art, of course. And flip it around. Sold for a million four hundred eighty-five thousand dollars. Wow. Uh, I wonder what's special about this one. I'm kind of reading this here on the top here. You gotta get good race power. The exterior is, a f is finished in liquid red paint with frozen white racing stripes, accented with matte finished carbon fiber fiber components. Uh, it's the extended carbon fiber package. So that's pretty cool. It's got a dark energy interior package. Um, yeah. I think they did the liquid color pretty decently. There is something weird going on right here. I don't know what that is. Some sort of manufacturing booger uh, that's been stuck to the car. Hopefully when this gets opened, that will be able to be wiped off. Whatever it is. But there you go. There's your 2017 Ford GT. Next up, ooh, 1968 Plymouth GTX Custom, and I would definitely think about getting this one if I not have a bunch of this casting already in my collection, but man, this one does look sharp. Um, there's a picture of the actual deal there. How much do you think the car went for? Dun, 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 dun. What do you think? What do you think? I have no clue. I'm not even going to try to go. $300,000. You can see if that's uh, anything special there in the, the writing, if you want to pause it and read it. Very nice looking car. This uh, 
tooling has been around for quite a while. Uh, 4727 is the number on the bottom. I always forget. We can look at those numbers. It's kind of fun. 1587 on the Ford GT. And it is 9229 on the pickup truck. But uh, I would say, yeah, you know, I have a bunch of this casting. This is one of the best ones I've ever seen of this actual casting. It just looks really, really good with those little red uh, accent stripes on it. It's got a little red accenting on the on the hood as well, and uh, really solid casting. It's been around for a long time. Like I said, I've got I think quite a few of this Plymouth uh, casting in my collection. I do see I don't know that might rub off. You see that rear quarter there? Hard to say. Won't know until you get it out of the package. All right, next up. Ooh, here you go. 2020 Chevy Corvette Stingray in all black. Hmm. Well, that's kind of odd. Um, cool that it's the new 2020 Chevy Corvette Stingray casting. What, what is odd about it? Well, what's odd about it is the car on the uh, carter is red. So the car that was sold at Barrett-Jackson... Uh, which sold for $3 million? What? What's the deal with this? Winning bidder, oh, the first retail production VIN number 001 of the all-new 2020 Corvette. So this was for the first, first VIN number. First of the first ever and sold for $3 million. And it was apparently red. I don't know why. What did they do that for? Why is it black? And the odd thing about it is the debut of this casting was in the Black Bandit series, and it was an all-black Corvette Stingray. So what is going on there? That's strange. I don't think I, I don't have that black Corvette handy. I did unbox one in a Black Bandit series when this Corvette debuted, and um, I showed it on my channel. So is it the exact same as this one? Did they just have some weird production issue and then decide to just... I don't know, make more of these black ones and toss it in. Anyway, 3293 is the number on the bottom. This is weird. Normally, this is not going on. The color here would match the color here. I don't know why, and I know it's not like a chase or anything like that, so kind of weird. All right, next is the 1970 old 442 convertible. Uh, this is another casting, I believe, that's been around for quite a while. Uh, I believe it's available in a hardtop and a convertible from Greenlight. There's a picture of the actual car. It's a nice color yellow. It looks pretty decent. Not a huge fan of this tooling. Uh, 4364. How much do you think it went for? And $121,000. Mm, whatever. This one really doesn't. I guess do it for me. I guess it's a cool car, but it just doesn't... Uh, meh. This one's the most meh out of the group, I think, so far. All right, and lastly, finally, last one in the case is the 1969 Chevy Camaro... Chevy Copo Camaro ZL1. What do we think of that one? Uh, it looks good. It's in a kind of a green poly kind of look to it this casting leaves a little bit to be desired but it's not that bad um i can't see the number on the bottom there 5467 i think how much do you think it's sold for what do you think Two hundred thirty one thousand dollars Oh, it was owned by the great uh, baseball great Reggie Jackson. That's cool. That's pretty neat. So there you go. There it is, your Barrett Jackson series. Well, <clears throat> let me tell you. I do need an example of this casting. I might pick up this one or the Black Bandit one. I don't know which one I'm going to grab, but I'm going to grab one of the two. Oh, I think I know the difference already between the Black Bandit and this one. I think the, uh, the Black Bandit one had like that gray stripe across the top. 
and this one does not but pretty sure this car probably should have been red i did notice too you can see it's hard to see on video here let me see if i can uh, can you see that at all that's uh, really hard to see but it does have brake calipers in there you can see them they're red gosh i can't believe you can't I, you can't see that on camera i can see it in person anyway so it's got that that's pretty cool Lens details on the back. I still need to get one of these in my collection, and I will. It might end up being this one, in spite of the weirdness with the card art. I mean, obviously, I'm going to open it anyway. I just would kind of rather have a red one, the black one, but it is what it is. And then um, second best, maybe this Ford GT in this liquid red color. It's pretty cool looking. Even though I've got a, quite a few examples of this uh, casting as well, might not end up picking it up. And then this Plymouth GTX is just beautiful. It just really is. And I do like the color on the Chevy K10. It's just the lift kit is just this front. It just looks a little strange. And it does on all of them. So let me know what you guys think about that. All right, so that's going to be it for this uh, unboxing episode of Green Light. Again, Barrett Jackson, Series 6. So you can find these at your local hobby dealer, probably, or your, you know, whatever, any online hobby dealer. Uh, if you really want to try to find them in stores, good luck. I mean, I don't know. You might be able to find some at Hobby Lobby. Maybe some at Meyer, Maybe. But, uh, yeah, just go to a Hobby there and get them if you want them. That's the best way to do it. I usually get all my stuff from SC Diecast. Usually the green light stuff anyway. Just because they're local to me and whatnot. But, yeah. So, pretty cool. All right. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a good day.